Attorney General and Minister of Justice Godfrey Yabwadame has bemoaned the situation where high-profile criminal cases take longer periods to be concluded. He made this known during the annual conference of magistrates and judges. According to him, it is unfair for high-profile trials on offences such as willfully causing financial loss to the state and money laundering to drag on for years, while similar cases involving regular citizens take up to six months to be dispensed. There is more in the following report. The Attorney General, who according to Article 88 of the 1992 Constitution, is the principal legal advisor of the state and in charge of all criminal prosecutions, appeared concerned about delays that characterizes high-profile cases. Godfrey Yabuadami wondered how trial of offenses such as causing financial loss to the state, money laundering and fraud deemed high-profile cases sometimes take over four years to be concluded, while those against ordinary Ghanaians, however, take between six months to one year to be concluded. For the principal legal advisor, this practice is unacceptable and unfair. My lady, I will only urge the judiciary to ensure that their processes are devoid of undue delays and other inefficiencies. For a robust legal system, and appealing by rule of law goes hand in hand with economic prosperity, and bolsters the confidence of the people and deters the perpetration of wrongdoing. A court system in which summary trial of criminal cases can last for more than five years militates against the right to a fair trial, defeats the end of justice, and must be looked at again. It is unjust and unfair for so-called high-profile criminal cases involving the same offenses of fraud, willfully causing financial loss to the state and money laundering, to drag on for years, while similar cases filed against the perceived ordinary members of society are concluded within six months to one year. My lady, I wish the judiciary all the best in these deliberations for the course of this annual conference. The annual conference of the Association of Magistrates and Judges of Ghana is on the theme, a financially independent, accountable judiciary. Delivering the keynote address, Chief Justice Gertrude Eraba Isaba Tokono indicated that financial constraints is a major obstacle in achieving judicial independence. If the financial independence of the judiciary is conferred and demanded by the 1992 Constitution, why is the Judicial Service of Ghana and the judiciary subjected to such great constraints in its financial administration? How can we be an independent arm of government when we have no control over our finances? Is the constitutionally guaranteed institutional independence of the judiciary only a mirage? Can the institutional independence of the judiciary be asserted when we need clearance to engage staff, clearance to assess money generated from court services, clearance to procure any asset? To do our work. Meanwhile, the Chief Justice clarified the reason for instructing registrars at the Court of Appeal and Supreme Court not to solely set dates for cases as has been a practice prior to her assumption of office. Regrettably, our data shows that the average case often drags beyond three years and hearing of applications drag on for months. These protracted delays place an immense burden on parties and create undue levels of stress for parties, lawyers, and judges. This is the reason why on 1st August 2023, I directed that the registrars of the Court of Appeal and Supreme Court should not allocate dates to cases while we review all pending cases to ensure that they are fixed for hearing only when they are properly ready to be heard.